<clears throat> Good morning. Hope you are doing well. Yeah, we are going to talk about the performance measurement. But please subscribe to our channel. It will allow you to have more video or notification on video we are uploading. Okay, we have already talked about <clears throat> efficiency, technical efficiency, but using Cobb Douglas a function. We want here to use translog function to show you how it can be run with a translog function. And now talking about performance measurement, we have many ways to <clears throat> measure performance, like uh, efficiency is in one way, but we'll be talking in detail about others, uh, <clears throat> generally on um, others and in detail uh, on efficiency, uh, especially technical efficiency. Then, okay. <clears throat> Okay, we are measuring the performance of uh, economic activity of decision making, which we can use performance of farm households, commercial farms like dairy farms, financial institutions, and so on. And now, <clears throat> those performance measures are effectiveness, efficiency, productivity, profitability. Okay, we want just to uh, see when we are talking about effectiveness, efficiency, what's the meaning? Effectiveness measure the ability of a company or firm to achieve a target, but focus on output, the result, and ignoring how um, the inputs are used. When we are talking about efficiency now, we are <clears throat> we, we want to achieve the target, but not only that one, we are focused more focused on how the inputs are used. The example I can just use it here is now we have two companies. We have company one, company A, company A, company B. And now, yeah, let's say that the target is 10. And that now <clears throat> company A reached the target, company B also um, reached the target. But in terms of input use, company A use only two to achieve those 10, and company B use five to achieve those 10. At the end, we can see that the company B is effective in the sense that it achieves to reach the target but content com com company A, not only to reach the target, it use uh, less input. We can say that company A is uh, efficient. Okay. Then talking about productivity, we have two uh, kinds of uh, productivity, partial productivity. Uh, when we are just using the ratio of output to single input, we can at that moment talk about labor productivity, only labor land productivity, so on. And we have also total factor productivity to the ratio of aggregate of two to aggregate input. And you see, and now to measure efficiency, uh, like uh, technical efficiency, even allocative efficiency, we have two approach, non-parametric approach and a parametric approach. And also we have semi-parametric approach. Non-parametric approach is data development analysis and the parametric approach is, um, uh, uh, stochastic functional is the one we'll be using around here. Each of them has its characteristic, can you see? Then this one of uh, production or cost function specification and also allow single aggregate output. Like even you have different kind of output, uh, you need to combine them. You not be having output one, output two, output three. No, it's not allowing. And now, Non-parametric uh, approach, data development analysis features. Okay, this one allow for multiple output. Like if you are just measuring the performance of a company, where they are producing of two other output, and so on, you can consider all those outputs. Yeah, then so what is if, what does it mean here? Saying allow for multiple output and also those uh, differences. Uh, we are taking account when we are doing with data environment analysis. Okay. Then let's us talk about efficiency itself. We have different kinds of efficiency, technical efficiency, for example, and measure the ability in <clears throat> choosing the output. No, uh, measure the be use of best available technology, for example. We have input oriented uh, technical efficiency, output oriented technical efficiency. Well, to say that <clears throat> a farm is input oriented technical efficient. When at some point we are using a quantity, define a defined quantity to produce a defined output. And at some point we are able to reduce the input and the holding a constant the output we are producing. At that moment, at this moment, we can say that we are 
efficient the farm, this farm is the chemical efficient input oriented. And now when talking about how to orient the chemical efficiency, so when we are focusing on output, mean that we have a different before we have uh, or currently we have a defined quantity of input which is producing a defined quantity of output, but we are able to manage and get more output with the same input that we are using. That moment you can say that the farm is technical efficient, but output oriented. We have also allocative efficiency, which is uh, dealing with uh, price of what we are producing and the price of what uh, we are just using as input. Then there also we have allocative efficiency revenue based and uh, cost-based allocative efficiency. At the end, we have cost efficiency, which is also called economic efficiency, uh, which is the product of uh, technical efficiency and allocative efficiency, for example. Okay, since we want to estimate the technical efficiency, let us talk more about technical efficiency. Technical efficiency to estimate is, we need either Cobb-Dula function or translog function, but we cannot choose it like because we want to use Cobb Dula or Translog, uh, we need to do some kind of test, for example, before to choose it, for example. Okay, we need to, to do likelihood ratio. Can do likelihood ratio, which can allow us to see between Cobb Dula and uh, Translog, which one is better. That is, and also we can use cross-section data to do that or panel data. In this case, we, we, are, we will be using Translog function just to show you how it is done. And uh, also we are using construction data. We have other video talking about like Cobb Douglas constructional, uh, Cobb Douglas panel data, and uh, Cobb Douglas uh, uh, translog panel data. But here, can we consider a country X with three inputs? We have land output and labor. And then now, can you see how our transfer function look like? We have those three inputs, but we have those interaction about uh, them. We have the exponential, uh, the, the half, the coefficient, the ln of the, the first one, and so on, can you see? But we need to linearize it, okay? Meaning that when you have your data, you have to linearize your data before even to proceed. And now applying a natural log. When we are applying natural log at the end, we get something like this and we can go. Okay, let me show you in concrete how it look like when we are with our data, for example. Okay, around here, saying that we have land out to capital level, we need to transform or linear our data in this way, having uh, LN, Y, LN, K, LN, LN, and so on. And now also the interaction of those ones like it's taking the uh, natural log of the first one multiplied by the, by the natural log of the second one, and taking the natural log of the first one divided by the natural log of the second or uh, third one, taking the natural log of the second one multiplied by the uh, natural log of the third one, and now the half of the square of the natural log, the three inputs. And we have something like that. At the end, we'll be having something like this. Uh-huh. All of, all of it is just around here, okay? Okay, all of it is just around here. Okay, then we are taking this part of data as cross-sectional data. Since we can use also it, because now it's the purpose just to show you how, to, how it is happening. And as cross-sectional data is what we are collecting from the field, like uh, for our <clears throat> thesis and so on. Like we have many, many participants, we have many farmers, or we have many companies. It's not only one company uh, where those information is taken. Uh, okay, it's, it's many. Now at the same point we finish, we have here. Then what is we are looking here is to see if those farms, all of them, or some of them are technically efficient. And when we have this one, we can just copy it and go in our our data and run whatever we can run to get the result. Let me go back.
Okay. We have all the data. The data I I mm, copied, I pasted it here. Now uh, we have it to run whatever we can run. Okay. Let us proceed. Since we are using cross section data, we will use the common SF cross. Now the different variable here is the ln1. And now others ln p, ln l, and ln t. Now the interaction those data are having. And at the end, we have to choose our model. Space here again. And now, oh, bon. we are talking about technical fish out to put oriented, technical fish input oriented here. Uh, we are just doing the output oriented manner. Then we can add the O oh, in there. Now the distribution is to use the cutting We have, let's say that we want to also see the effect of climate change, for example, or the technical efficiency of wind farms, we can add it around here. Now it's okay, Tim. Now we can run our model. We have the results now. Because as you can see, those one are just not, because here we are just looking for technical efficiency, we not spend a lot of time on those those one. And here, for example, okay, we can see if climate change is significant, static or significant, if it was, okay, so okay, we can talk about this one, but now it is not significant, but uh, suppose that it was significant, a static significant. When it's negative, meaning that, okay, technical uh, 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 climate change has effect, but the effect is positive. Okay, yes, uh, of course, the, the sign is negative here because what is estimated here is inefficiency score. Mm -hmm. Then since the inefficiency score is is estimated here, meaning that okay, this negativity, yeah, meaning that climate change is uh, is uh, uh, affecting negatively on the inefficiency of inefficiency of the the farmers. And so this for this reason now, when we want to make it easier, we are just saying that when it's negative, meaning that the climate change has a positive effect on the technical efficiency of farmers. We have to term of errors, we have those kind of things. And here, since our purpose is to estimate the technical efficiency or the scores of technical estimation, we have just to generate them. Predict BC, the model uses BC, PLMs, and we have them. We are, can you see technical efficiency, you can go even to C. Uh, We can we can go even even to see uh, those costs of technical efficiency. Okay, we can also go back and summarize them and see really how they are coming. Okay, as you can see, we have twenty two observation and the mean score efficiency efficiency is zero point nine six, and now the minimum here is here, the maximum is here. Okay, what does that mean? Okay. <clears throat> the, the efficiency score is between zero and one, okay? When it's zero, meaning that uh, the farm is totally inefficient. When it's one, the farm is totally efficient, okay? But uh, those scores we should be having is inside there, between zero and one. But when it is near, closer to one, we can see that the farm is efficient, but not totally efficient. And here, for example, since it is 0 0.96, we can see that it's really like 0 0.35, uh, 3, yes, 4, or 3, um, 3, 4, to reach uh, the, 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 the efficiency, the complete efficiency. But the average farm around here is, is at least efficient, since this one is close, close to, closer to 1. And you see, then meaning that when we are taking uh, uh, all farms, the average farm is efficient and this remaining like 0 0.35 or 35% to be totally efficient. And the mean if you score efficiency is 0 0.6, maximum one is here, very close to what that is. Uh, okay, hope that this video 
uh, will help you in your further research and so on. If you know to, you want to just learn to understand more clearly those kind of things, or maybe how to run um, many software, R, Stata, uh, Python, or SPSS, even uh, uh, how to digitalize your data, like using Kobo or Deca, you can just get in touch with us. Thank you so much for your time.